Sanka National Park in Zambia is a haven for nature, but faces threats from all sides. How does the park survive and even thrive these modern challenges? It's thanks to the bats. Not just one or two, but massive numbers of bats are protecting this park. Here we're going to explain how these bats help the park and use new technologies to try to figure out just how many there really are. Each November, straw-colored fruit bats migrate to form a huge colony in a small swampy forest in the middle of Kasanka National Park. We don't really know exactly where they come from, but we suspect the colony probably draws from across the continent, since a few animals GPS tagged in Zambia have ended up in the Congo, and one even made it as far as South Sudan. Once in Kasanka, they settle into the bat forest during the day and feed on fruit in the surrounding countryside at night. The bat swarm's evening departure from the forest is one of the world's most amazing wildlife spectacles. It attracts tourists from all around the world who help fund Kasanka to protect the bats and all the other wildlife that uses the park. But how many bats are there? Estimates from observers looking through binoculars have ranged from one to 10 million. But when there's this many bats flying around, it's pretty hard to count them. Plus, you can't see all the bats from any one point, so you don't know how many are flying out on the other side of the forest. To figure out how many bats were in the colony involved two steps, counting and extrapolation. First, for counting, we set up nine cameras all around the bat forest looking straight up to film the bats flying out in a standardized way. We then created an AI program to count the bats automatically. Bats that cross the red line in the main direction of travel are counted, and any that go the other way are subtracted. We manually counted some clips and found the AI was pretty good, about 95% accurate, and even did pretty well in dark conditions. So the AI was pretty good at telling us how many bats flew over each camera, but how can we use that to extrapolate the total colony size? First, we have to figure out how wide of an area the camera can see, which in this case depends on how high the bat is flying. Now, all these bats are basically the same size, so we know that if it looks smaller, it's just because it's flying at a higher altitude. We measured the size of each bat in pixels and then used this to figure out its height. The next thing we need to know is what proportion of the total bat colony is flying through each camera's view. To figure this out, we imagine a circle around the colony. Then we use the width of the camera's view and the distance from the camera to the bat colony, along with a bit of trigonometry, to calculate what percentage of the circle each camera covers. In total, we had the bat forest surrounded by nine cameras that combined covered about 27% of the airspace circling the bat colony. In 2019, we counted bats emerging from the colony five times, averaging 850,000 bats per night. We know our estimate isn't perfect, and we tried to account for various sources of error, figuring it could have been as high as 1.3 million bats or as low as 544,000. We also recognize that we might not have caught the peak of bat migration. Some animals might have arrived after our count period. Our general conclusion is that there are about a million bats in Kasanka. While some caves in Texas have more, those are much smaller bats. With 300,000 kilograms of bat biomass, Kasanka is the heaviest congregation of bats in the world by at least an order of magnitude. Now we know how many bats are in Kasanka. With this number, we can start adding up how important these bats are to the ecosystem. Each night, they are out there eating fruit flying around and pooping out millions and millions of seeds that's going to help regenerate forests across the region. We can also repeat the count to see how the bat population is doing into the future. Most importantly, now you know about this amazing place, how important the bats and bat lovers like you are to protecting this important ecosystem. So come to Zambia and see this unique wildlife spectacle or donate to the Kasanka Trust to support their community engagement work and continued bat monitoring. Thanks for watching this episode of Wild Animals. This was a big group effort, obviously, with lots of people doing their parts. Uh, this was led by Dr. Ben Koger, who developed the cool artificial intelligence program and led a lot of the calculations that we present here. Um, this was also uh, done with the collaboration of the great conservationists and scientists at Kasanka Trust, Kasanka National Park, with funding from the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior.